Spire is a business management solution for small and mid-sized businesses, full of features and processes to make it easy to manage your sales, purchases, and accounting. Let's take a short journey and highlight a number of them. Perhaps you are a sales entry person taking customer orders. When you log into Spire, you can choose from any number of company databases to open and are not limited to one company data set per license. You may also choose to configure your accounting to include a location value that is included on sales and purchase orders so that revenue and expense accounting can be tracked by location. After signing on, you may receive pop-up alerts regarding important information or transactions that have become due, assigned to you through communications. Not only can you see the alerts, but you can also view them to open additional external attachments or websites, or mark the task as completed, or open the related record and be taken directly to the record or transaction where the note was assigned. Notes that aren't yet due can still be seen and read from the communications module from either the entire list or narrowed down using predefined record filters to a more focused group of notes, such as those just for you today or this week or from a specific module. Outstanding notes for the company can be seen more visually from the calendar module, where each communication appears as a link within the daily slot, and those assigned to each user display in different colors. You can use any of these notes access methods as your to-do list for the day or week and ensure that nothing gets missed and mark off each job when done. If you regularly need to visit certain websites throughout the day, perhaps your company homepage or online ordering or a cloud-based application for internal communications or email, a built-in Chromium browser can be used for accessing multiple websites simply by defining URLs either for the entire company or just for you. When you're ready to get to work, you can open the module you need to see the list of records or transactions, such as customers, purchase orders, or sales orders in a grid. You can display the information in columns that's most important to you, or hide information that just gets in the way, and position columns to organize it all in the way you need. Then you can make modifications to anything you see, or create something new. While creating an order, typing into selection fields will prompt you with more choices than just codes that start with this, but also records that contain this in other key fields, to make it easier to find the record you want. After selecting the code, you may receive an alert warning you about a condition or scenario before you get too far into the entry. Data entry is expedited by the ability to add records directly within the grid, and use the keyboard to navigate throughout tab through the columns and make edits where necessary. Look up other codes using keyboard shortcuts and choose them without having to use the mouse and slow you down. Include completing the line entry and start a new one. You can set up inventory items in different ways in order to make entry more efficient and reliable. Items can be configured with additional accessories that are always included so that they are not forgotten. Any items on sales orders that have a selling margin lower than a chosen minimum can be identified immediately, and perhaps the selling price be modified to solve the situation. Items can be defined as kits, which are in fact collections of other items sold together, that can be modified or removed as part of the ordered item set, and displayed at the kit or component level. Items can be defined to require serial numbers or lot numbers assigned to the sale if you are required to track this information for reporting or potential tracing. When entering an item that happens to be out of stock, you can choose to redirect the sale to an alternate item if one has been set, or set the quantity for this item to be backordered. For backordered items, you can create a requisition transaction directly from the sales order, requesting a purchase to be made to fulfill this backorder, or if allowed, to process the purchase order yourself and assign the PO number to the backordered item. When the order entry is complete, you can save the order for future processing, perhaps with requirements to have under margin sales or over credit customers approved. Or if you are allowed, process the sales order now to creating a picking list for the warehouse and ready the order for shipping, 
or set the order to the next phase of your customizable sales order workflow. Shipped orders can have the tracking number entered and enable a direct link to the shipment provider's website for up-to-date shipping information. Perhaps you are a sales manager responsible for approving and processing sales orders with rights for creating customer invoices. You can find out which orders are ready for processing by using a filter to focus down the list to just those you need to see. Or if you only need to find that one certain order from a large list, and maybe you don't have the order number or customer code to easily look for it, the smart search box can be used to search for sales orders for many informational fields at once, like name, city, contact, item description, alert notes, and more. Editing an order for a customer with an active alert will show a warning prompt at the top, which can be viewed or dismissed. Editing an order with backordered item stock now available to ship will prompt you on screen, so you don't have to guess or check whether or not the order can be fulfilled. You can even set the items as shipped from the prompt itself, or use the fill backorders feature for all or selected items. As part of the order entry process, you may need to find out more before processing or shipping. You don't have to close the order and then locate the other information of interest. Instead, it may easily be available within the order. See other open orders for this customer listed, and even drill down to see the details, maybe to check for ordering patterns or duplication. Use sales history to check what you've charged this customer in the past for the items on just this order or open the customer inventory item records directly from the order. For categorizing or tracking orders, you can either increment or set the order phase, or set the order status to processed or shipped in order to best accommodate your workflow procedures. You can also create any number of user-definable fields to store any information not already available for entry to assist you in maintaining or classifying records. When the order has been shipped and a customer invoice can be generated, this can be done easily. As allowed from security and customer terms, change the customer's credit limit, or take a payment with the invoice, or post the invoice to the customer's account for future payment, perhaps with a credit authorization override required for customers over their limit, or having other old and unpaid invoices. Perhaps you are the staff person responsible for processing back-end accounting. When you log into Spire, in addition to alerts assigned to you, you may also see any recurring receivables or payables transactions that are due to be processed. View, edit, or post the monthly utility or phone bill as a new vendor invoice, or create the entry for a customer pre-authorized debit directly from this pop-up screen. When you wish to take a customer payment for outstanding invoices, you can look for them either from the complete customer list or from the list of customers that have any open accounts receivable. Open the customer and select each invoice to be paid. You can highlight an invoice to investigate if there is something you want to verify prior to assigning the payment. Then choose to pay the selections and generate a payment receipt if desired and post the payment for the customer, followed by the receipt printout or email. And when it comes time for generating financial reports in the general ledger, you may want to or need to analyze transactions posted to the chart of accounts. This can be easy to accomplish by listing the posted transactions in a grid, perhaps filter to those for a specific fiscal period or group of accounts, and then export the grid contents to an Excel file for external investigation or highlight a specific entry and view either the complete balanced entry or even view the source subledger transaction from where this entry came from. This was a brief tour of some areas within Spire, exhibiting many vital features and procedures. The remainder of this demonstration is comprised of a series of short videos, viewable in succession from the playlist or from a direct link to the topic of your choice.